first thing any fisherman does when he goes to a new place is to go and check out the river. But nowhere else in the world would you expect to be greeted by a sight anything at all like this. This massive river is second only in flow and area to the Amazon, draining a huge swathe of Africa half the size of the US. That's the Congo River. To reach this point, it has run nearly 3,000 miles, crossed the equator twice, and narrowed from 10 miles at its widest to around a mile here, where it splits the two war-ravaged capital cities of Kinshasa and Brazzaville. From here, it plummets nearly 1,000 feet in a series of rapids to the Atlantic Ocean, almost 300 miles away. And wherever there is a river, there are humans hardwired to seek out its fish. It's hard to believe, but many species of fish can survive fast-flowing rapids like these. Weda is one of only a handful of fishermen who choose to fish these waters. I'm seeing what the, the local guys use here. I am slightly embarrassed using such you know, gear, which is sort of very expensive in comparison. But I actually think, you know, this will stand a chance of getting out large fish from here, which the, the bamboo and lighter line doesn't do, perhaps. The creature I'm pursuing is a voracious predator. Very good. So there's the hook. That not only attacks the small fish these fishermen are after, but will also take a chunk out of a crocodile. It's the Goliath tigerfish. Not just one of the top predators here, but among the most ferocious freshwater predators in all the world's rivers. Goliath tigerfish are said to grow six feet long and weigh in excess of 100 pounds. They have jaws packed with razor sharp interlocking teeth. And with their streamlined body and huge tail, they are capable of incredible bursts of speed when striking prey. Their ferocity when hunting is legendary. The fishermen tell me there's someone I should meet who has a unique way of fishing these waters. This is Philippe Tenta. He fishes these rapids with a net. That is the scale of a, of a Goliath tigerfish, which he caught the day before yesterday. Combien de kilo? Uh, 30 kilo. 30 kilo. Is it? Mm -hmm. 70 pounds here. That's a, that's a big old tigerfish. Teeth on it probably like that, you know, so, um, you know, just the thought of that kind of fish in this kind of water. Don't get much more extreme than that. He's about to check his nets. So you've got cable where it's going over the rocks. And here we go, here's the net coming in. As would be expected, fishing with nets in such turbulent water is not without its problems. The net's actually, it's stuck. I have no idea what he plans to do about it. But I wasn't expecting that. Jumping into these waters is nothing short of suicidal. But I realize now that this is something he must do on a daily basis. If people call me an extreme fisherman, what does that make him? I, mean, I, I know he knows what he's doing, but to me, it just looks the, the most insanely dangerous way to make a living. Swimming in this sort of supersized washing machine type water, with a net, which is, you know, designed to catch things. All this effort, and there's actually nothing in this net, so... 
We're just going to redeploy a fresh net. And it is just, uh, just mind-boggling. You know, you just wouldn't get me doing that. That kind of fishing seems very reckless to me. But this is a country where people are forced to go to extreme lengths simply to survive. <laughs> 